two ways. Uh, we have scientific evidence pointing to uh, the need to act urgent. We need to act and we need to act collectively or all together for the sake of future generations. And we need to accelerate transformative change. Um, the EU and India are in a position to offer leadership to the international community. Uh, it's particularly needed now. These three priorities related to environment in terms of impact one, two, three, or four. So you can imagine and um, some of them repeat in both. So you can imagine the problem that is expecting from COP25 is uh, uh, reach uh, higher, uh, higher levels of ambition in the in the um, in the proposal of a new NDCs for the countries. Uh, facilitate the adaptation process of uh, countries in development, developing countries or the uh, negative effects of climate change, try to reach uh, real climate actions, uh, try to incorporate uh, the link between ocean and uh, climate change. But I think that now we are all coming together, uh, starting from the proposition that we need to act, we need to act now, and we need to take concrete actions. Uh, we have evidence, science-based evidence, that the situation warrants action now. So we don't have time to waste. So what we hope from COP25 is to have a statement of ambition, to have uh, ambitious targets set, and to have um, a long-term vision. Them carefully. Um, we have time for two questions. Please address The climate emergency is not just something that will ha that will impact us in the future. It is not something that that will will have an impact on children living today when they grow up. It is already affecting countless of people today. People are suffering and dying from it today. We get a um, we get a signal from someone. Developed countries must be ashamed of themselves, given the amount of carbon they emit compared to what Africa is emitting. We almost emit nothing, but we are suffering the most. You have dreams, but we have dreams too. But these dreams have turned into nightmares.